Coal Technologies Limited remains open 13 years since it opened its doors to the public. Many Nigerians had their first experience with the internet here. But now, business is very slow. Internet cafes like these were a lucrative business and a huge source of income for millions over a period of about 20 years. Funmilayo Bangkole says she gets less than 10 customers a day, coming mostly to type, photocopy and print documents. That business is what boom, moving than when Sabah cafes. You know everybody now, they have Blackberry, nothing. If they send something to your email, you will quickly see it on your phone. So then, nothing like uh, Sabah cafe, nothing, nothing. People will come, anything that they want to. Then they are using fax machine. We have our fax machine. So then using fax machine, anything that you want to send, you need to type it before you will fax it. So then it's better than now. Cyber cafes have lost the battle to internet networked phones, handy modems, and Wi Fi access. Nigerian company Oxygen Broadband Networks provides internet services and has partnered with restaurants, stadiums, cinemas, outdoor bars, and event centers to deliver high speed Wi Fi services. Worldwide, there's a 24 hour live, that, um, and people are constantly on the move. We have the patient generation here. Things should happen now, they should happen fast. And they should happen not in my home. They should happen away from home, where my peers are, where my cultural group is, where my, um, my interest group are. So th this has swelled that mobile um, um, community, the mobile generation, that on the move, they also want to communicate and connect and be productive as well. That has swelled it. Um, and that has led to the, the decline in cyber cafes, uh, as you know it, because if I can do a lot of things on the move, I don't need to sit down in a place to do it. The company has invested $3 million in the project and plans to expand further. It has 27,000 registered users across 50 hotspots, all integrated to allow seamless connectivity for customers whenever they change location. Users pay about $3 for daily unlimited access across any of the hotspots. Well, it's essential. I mean, connectivity is part of life now. And uh, because I do a lot online, so it's essential for me. I mean, we have music. They're sold online, so we must keep in touch. Um, I also do a lot of social media work, so it's essential. And uh, oxygen's uh, been fine. Adelemo says the number of users on the Wi Fi platform explains the huge need to expand services in the oil rich country. He plans to have 1,000 hotspots in Lagos before moving to other parts of Nigeria. Oxygen is ahead of that call um, in Nigeria as against what we see in China, in the UK. In the UK, as an example, BT has 4.8 million hotspots. Um, free in France has 5 million hotspots. In China, they, they plans to do about 13 million hotspots. So worldwide, is that, that, that growing demand for let's put hotspots in place so that we can have access wherever we go. We don't think Nigeria will be different, and that's why we're playing in that space now. Nigeria, with a population of 170 million people, is the fastest growing internet and mobile phone market in Africa. Maria Galang, CCTV.